Today we have this beautiful handheld in our grimy little hands, the Ioneo 2S. And we are going to be installing Bazite, the Linux OS that basically turns anything into a Steam Deck. This is the Ioneo 2S with the AMD Ryzen 7 8840U and the Radeon 780M graphics. It's only got 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. So instead of dual booting Windows and Bazite, I'm going to forego Windows completely. I spent something like four hours yesterday troubleshooting Windows, just trying to get some of my games to play, but they would just keep crashing. And finally, after many hours, I caved and decided to turn this into a proper handheld gaming console. And man, I'm happy I did. So here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to get Bazite installed on your handheld device. And to be very clear, this is not going to dual boot into Windows. There will be no other operating system on this. So there is a little bit of a different process if you want to do that. And honestly, the process was very similar. There's only a few extra steps you have to take to have Windows and Bazite. So without any further delay, let's start. First off, head over to bazite.gg where you're going to be able to download the operating system. This is pretty straightforward. Click the button at the top. It's going to walk you through what device you're putting this on. If it's a PC, if it's a handheld, or a laptop. Unfortunately, there was no option for Ioneo, so I just clicked other handheld, which is totally fine. At this point, it also prompts you with what desktop environment do you prefer? And we're looking for that like Steam OS version. Then it just gives you a download Bazite deck option. The next thing you're going to need is some software that you can flash the OS to a USB drive. I use Belinda Etcher, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. You just download this. It's free. After it's downloaded, launch the software. All right, now that we have Bazite downloaded. I've also got my handy dandy 64 gigabyte, which is overkill for this, but plug that in. There it is. Flash from file. Go into my downloads. There it is. Disk image, Bazite. Open. Select target. That SanDisk 61 gig. Select one flash and honestly it's truly that simple at this point it's going to flash that operating system to this usb drive so that it is going to be bootable from your bios at this point hang tight get a cup of coffee and let me tell you about something that we have going on we have a big announcement everybody we are doing an even bigger and more epic giveaway Thanks to the incredible people over at Vitcher, we will be giving away the Vitcher Pro Cloud Pack. This features the brand new Pro neckband, the Vitcher Pro XR glasses, and an 8-bit Zoo controller. Everything you need for epic cloud gaming and even more. This ultimate bundle is valued at over $700. So again, thank you so much, Vitcher, for this. This is just so awesome, and it's been so much fun to be able to give away these amazing products to you guys. The Vitcher Pro XR glasses deliver a fully private 135 inch, 120 hertz, full HD display with ultra clarity and a thousand nits perceived brightness for an immersive experience. And now with the Pro Neck Band, you can stream from your PC or game in the cloud like never before. Don't miss your chance to win. Click the link in the description and enter and rack up as many entries as possible. Good luck, everybody. When the flashing is done, you just simply turn your machine off and then boot it back into the BIOS. Feels like every device does something just a little bit different, so this is how you boot into the BIOS on the Ioneo 2S. All right, we're gonna try to log in to the BIOS by holding L2 power and volume up button. At this point, you just hold it, wait an awkward amount of time, and pray to the computer gods that you get into the BIOS. I'm gonna let go of the power button 
because typically you don't hold that. Nice. That was easy. So then Windows boot. Heck no, buddy. Getting away from Windows. At this point, select the USB drive that you have and then voila. Install Bazite. Let's freaking go. All right, install Bazite. After you click install Bazite, it's going to run a bunch of crazy crap and then you will end up at the welcome to Bazite deck page. At this point, it is super helpful or maybe necessary to have a keyboard and mouse plugged in because nothing on this device is working yet. So this you just go through the setup. English, yes. At this point, you will click the user creation. This is actually creating your Linux username and password. So go ahead and click user creation, put in whatever name you want, whatever username you want, but then put in a password that you're going to remember because this, again, is going to be your password on this device. Now we want to check out the installation destination. So again, because I am just wiping Windows off of this device, so I'm just going to allow it to format this whole thing. But if you wanted to dual boot in this part, you would have had to, in Windows, before getting to this step, partition a portion of your internal SSD, and it would show up right here with whatever, say you put 125 gigs available for this partition. And then you could just install Bazite onto that. But as you can see, I don't have any available space on this because it's already filled up and I've only got a 512 gigabyte SSD in this. So I'm going to allow it to just completely erase everything off of the entire SSD. You can do this by simply clicking on the SSD and then head down to this little check mark that says free up space by removing or shrinking existing partitions. And then that's it. Just go back up, say done. It's going to just be like, yo, do you really want to do this? You're reclaiming disk space on the entire SSD. It's going to basically delete everything. To which I say, yes, please kill Windows completely. Hit that delete all button and then go down a little bit more, reclaim space. Then it brings us back to this page and unfortunately, because the screen is automatically set to portrait, we can't see the next button. It just shows us the quit button there at the very bottom, but right next to the quit button is the like continue or next button. And so I kind of just blindly hit the tab button until I thought I was on that button. And to my surprise, my first try, I got it. And this then initiated installing Bazite. So the only thing running on this is going to be Bazite. So hopefully it works. Okay, it says it's complete. Again, I can't see the buttons. So I'm gonna hit enter. Nothing happened. Tab, enter. I'm not sure what I just hit. Hopefully, I hit what I needed to. Let's go. Okay, at this point, we will enroll MOK. Click continue. Click yes. The password is universal blue. And then we hit reboot. This should boot us into Bazite. Let's go. Okay, that's the boot screen. That's looking mighty beautiful. Woo! All right. Okay. Buttons are working. English, Pacific time. 
connect to the Wi-Fi. Connected. Oh no, it says unsupported hardware. See settings, system for detail. All right, I'm gonna let this go and we'll be right back. Okay, well it said 17 minutes, but like a minute went by and now it's rebooting. Oh my gosh. Let's go. And there we have it folks, as easy as that, you now just log into your Steam account and you have a functioning handheld gaming device. Oh my gosh, so much easier, so much better. Love it. Switch into desktop and we should be able to put in our little micro SD card that now can be ran on my Steam Deck ROG Ally running Bazite. And hopefully right now I should be able to just plug this in, mount it, and then go play any games I want to. But we're also gonna go through a couple additional options here. Don't skip this step. Make sure you log into the desktop mode and then it will automatically prompt you to install a few more pieces of software, but this does not take very long. It's very easy. Okay, I'm gonna unplug that and then I'm going to install the micro SD and then we'll reboot. Again, this is something that you're gonna wanna do while you're in desktop mode because it's going to prompt you with the ability to mount the micro SD card and if you don't do this, then it's just not gonna show up in the gaming mode. So right when it plugs in, mount and open. So now it should be good. Reboot now. Okay. We're just gonna check how much space we have on here. Look at that, all our games. And sure enough, I completely wiped this SSD. So the only thing on this is Bazite. But now, let's see if games actually work. We'll start things off nice and easy with some Hollow Knight. But already, guys, this entire process took significantly less time than just when you receive the device and just go through the typical Windows setup process. And then even after that, I've had this device for like almost a month, I think. And it just started tweaking out with like, it needed updates, plus it needs updates in like five different places. And then things and games were crashing. No fault to Ioneo. This device is phenomenal. It's just that Windows is trying to be on everything. And it just doesn't get a lot of love on some of these handhelds that don't have millions and millions of units. And so sometimes things just stop kind of working. But it's incredible to me that I can just install Linux and have it function on Bazite as if it's a Steam Deck. And we just jump in games now and they're just working. Everything's fine. I don't have to go to five different places and install a bunch of different uh, drivers and updates and figure out if AMD Adrenaline is working in the most up-to-date, but then go to Armory Crate and check those updates, but then, oh gosh, for whatever reason, that didn't actually update some of the things in the Windows updating area. So you have to double check, and then you update everything, restart, and then go back to check. And magically, there are more updates that need to come. It doesn't make any sense. Poor Windows. None of that is happening here. There is one place where you'll get updates on Linux and it's fine. Not to mention when you get it on, as we can see here, you can just start playing your games. You don't even have to think about it. It's great. Now you're obviously losing all the benefits of Windows. Okay, I know I like to talk crap about Windows, but that's because I'm talking about a handheld gaming, what should be console, not desktop computer. This thing really should just be here so I can pick it up and play a game. 
But I do understand a lot of us want to get some more use out of these devices and they are very capable of it. So dual booting into Windows is absolutely an option. I just didn't have a big enough SSD inside of this and I've already got Windows on my ROG Ally and my Steam Deck and my desktop. So I just don't need another device with Windows on it. Already, even though it's not perfectly set up and it's saying it has unsupported hardware, I can just jump into all the games now and they just play. Unlike all morning trying to get Windows to work. So I still need to dial in and we'll test out some bigger AAA games. But Bazite took significantly less time to get installed and running. It's that button, this extra little button, which actually makes a ton of sense to be right there. Just jump right up to 30 watts. Dang, dude. It doesn't have all like the presets. You can't just click. All right, there we have it. That is how you install Bazite on your handheld device transforming it into a very usable console-like gaming machine, just as it should be. I'm gonna be making a video following up on the Ionia 2S, showcasing a bunch of different games playing on this handheld device, as well as my thoughts about it and everything like that. So make sure you're subscribed, stay tuned, and I will see you in the next one.